it is snack time everyone. So today I am reviewing Quattro, which is another Japanese snack. Yum! This, though I can't read a lot, is green tea. I can tell just looking at it, just looking at it, and even reading the description, it says Quattro, green tea, Japanese cookies. That's all it says, because everything's in Japan, except for this. So the top part is in English and the rest of it, I have no idea because my Japanese skills are non-existent. So what I love is this box. Oh, my voice just went up, felt like Peter Brady for a second. Um, what I really like is this box. It, it's raised up in parts and it's just really classy. And that's what I love about Japanese snacks. It's a full on experience, you know, they care. So <laughs> I'm excited. I love green tea, so I'm hoping these do not disappoint. So here we go. Pop open the top. Very classy. Look at these. And there's eight of these little guys in there. And yum. It smells like cardboard. But here they are. Little tiny yummy treats. It's just so classy. I mean, look at this. Well, I know I love Japanese products because they just are so classy, but so then you pull these out of here. And what I like is there's the green little cracker on the back, and then it looks like there's chocolate in the middle, and then like uh, a green tea chocolate. So I'm really excited. Let's do this. That was a really strong green tea flavor. It's the first thing that hits me. There if you go. If you do not like strong green tea flavors, you're not going to like this. If you don't like green tea, you're going to spit this thing right out because it is strong. Because this cracker has green tea, which you can see on it, and then this is green tea, and the middle is chocolate, but it's not enough to stop the all-around flavor. That is the main flavor, is the green tea. Mmm. There's almost like a creamy in the middle. There's almost like a, um, a creamy chocolate in the middle. So it's hard chocolate and then in the middle, it's this burst of smooth chocolate inside of it. More um, liquid form. I didn't expect that. Wow, these are really good and unique. I will say that they're probably two to three dollars for eight of these which may seem expensive, but they're really good quality, so I have no problem that I spent the type of money on it because it's really good. Oh yeah, it does show that actually in the middle. If you look there, it does show that there's liquid in the middle. It's not chocolate, it's actually green tea. So there's liquid in the middle. These are really good. So if you could pick them up, I, I recommend that you do. Um, I got these in a Japanese store. Um, there's a few of them in Manhattan here where you can go. It's predominantly Japanese products, healthcare, beauty, and snacks and food. Um, they may have these in the Asian markets, but what I found for myself is that when I look at Asian markets, a lot of them tend to carry Chinese, Korean, not as much Japanese products. So it may be a little bit more difficult if you live outside of New York City or a major city, but. Amazon may have something like this, and if you like stuff like this, this is really good and worth buying at least once, and then crying over it later because you can't afford to do it later. I know, I've done that before. It's the danger of this, but so very good. So yeah, this is a huge thumbs up. The green tea flavor is still with me, and then I'm thinking if I had ice cream right now, I would put these little guys in there and just... I need to go to the store and get some ice cream. So yes, that is my review for Quattro Japanese green tea cookies. They are freaking fabulous. So until next time, I'm going to get some ice cream and you have a great day. <laughs> Bye.